All right, guys. So I know a lot of you out there are wondering if uh, I'm for real, right? Do I actually buy property for you and give you a percentage of the net? Do I actually do overage recovery? Well, we're about to launch the Deed Flip 30. So let me give you an example of a Deed Flip deal we're working on right now. Uh, it's Guilford County. This one happens to be in North Carolina. Deed Flip 30 will be for other states. But um, this researcher is going to net about 4,500 bucks. And that's about the average on our 15% of net program. The Deed Flip 30 is going to pay you 30% of net for taking just one more step. So this is the Guilford County Register Deeds. If you guys were wondering if I'm real and I actually buy property, right? So let's click on, let's go down. You guys can do this. You can do this behind me and check behind me. Um, let's go down and search real estate records. All right. Let's put in the company name. My, my company is the Results Team Com Inc. doing business as Greater Good Company. So let's put Greater Good Company in. Oops. See if anything pops up. Well, there it is right there. So let's display it. And now this one I bought, this one had a lot of hair on it. And I'll make a quick point here. We buy stuff that other people would not. It has a $69,000 IRS tax lien. We were still able to buy it. We just got clear title from the attorney. We're still able to buy it and flip it. And uh, all that will be done in under, what, two and a half months? Just 925, right? So 10, 11, the 24th, actually two months. Um, we'll, we'll be selling this on the 24th in four days. So that's the date, 925, 2020 quick claim deed. Let's click on it. Oh, let's click on it again. Oh, it's waiting. Okay. Let's look at the PDF. All right. Quick claim deed recorded on the 25th of September, right? And I'm going to be closing this out on the 24th of this month, November 2020, right? This is the actual deed. Now, it says 10,000. Now, let me tell you something. I then found out and I have a, I redid um, uh, the contract with them because I didn't at that point understand that there was uh, a, an IRS tax lien. So I actually got that down to 3,500 and I have an amended contract for that. But that, even so, I would have made even more. I mean, I would have made quite a bit. But you've got the actual deed here. Okay, you can look this up yourself. That's my company. Um, results team doing business as Greater Good Company with a mailing address of boom. Okay, and it has our address right there. That's me, guys. That's and you've got pick up by me. I mean, prepared by me and pick up by me. Um, so all of that is on there. And this will be closing on the 24th. And our guy's going to make quite a bit of money. Now, let's see. The HUD. This is the master settlement statement that's already been prepared. It's closing November 24th, 2020. And the cash to, to my company is going to be $35,000. $35,148.59. You see that right there? Now I had $3,500 to the owner, not ten grand, um, And another, I don't know, $1,500 in repair. So I'm right at $30,000 net. So the researcher will make about $4,500. No kidding. Okay. So this in a weekend, I had to wait and make sure that everything was clear. So there was some time involved, but that's under two months for a deed flip. Under two months from data recording to the deed flip. All right. In fact, it's right at six weeks. warranty deed everything's in there right there i'm signing as the president of the company yes we really do this hey guys sean bougie i just wanted to go over our deed flip 30 program launching january the first this is going to be our most powerful program it's going to pay the fastest out of everything that we do and it's going to pay the most um, our average net on a flip on property that's going into tax sale, unpaid taxes on the property. Our average is around $30,000 for a net. We're going to be paying you 30% of net per deal 
over nine grand on average on a deed flip. This will start January 1st, 2021. Now, let me explain to you guys real quick, and then I'll get into nuts and bolts a little bit. But real quick, why we're doing this now and, and launching it January the 1st and why this is the perfect timing. We're catching a tsunami of tax sale foreclosures coming up and why it will be as powerful, if not more powerful, it's certainly going to be higher paying uh, than the overage programs that are out there, including ours. First off, although there's a synergy there built in that if you combine this with the overage program, it's going to be even more powerful, but I'll get into that. Okay. First off, guys, and this is why it's so powerful and why you're starting to see videos from other people that do overages out there, why you're starting to see these videos from them saying, oh, by the way, you don't want to flip property. Um, yeah, you do. You want to be upstream. Okay. You want to be in front of the actual foreclosure if you can. And the payout on this is extremely high, much higher than the average surplus funds deal. So, and that's why these guys are starting to launch that. And I'll go into a little more detail in that, but that's why you're starting to see this. Oh, by the way, you don't want to flip property. You don't want to be involved in that. Um, that's because they understand the writings on the wall with this new program we're launching. So first of all, counties are going broke. Okay. I'm recording this November the 20th of 2020 and counties are going broke. Okay. They've been closed down through COVID, not the entire county. There's essential personnel, registered deeds, and some other departments that have been open. However, they, a lot of them delayed and postponed and canceled, at least for a short period of time, the tax sales. They can't do that anymore. They need that money to meet their budget. Now, I'm going to cut away here, okay, and show you what I'm talking about with budget deficits. All right, guys, this is, I just Googled County Budget Deficit 2020. All right, do this yourself, please. You'll see everybody is going broke. It's pretty much counties in every single state. They just, they can't afford to not close on people do this yourself check it out okay that's the first thing the counties are about to foreclose on record numbers of property for unpaid taxes the opportunity is going to be ridiculous and I'm going to show you also also where you can see upcoming tax sales online it's extremely easy to find them all right, guys, so this I did tax deed foreclosures. And because we're not going to work North Carolina or Florida in this program, I took those out. Uh, but tax deed foreclosures, you can do the same sale or rather the same uh, search. Illinois, you got Illinois in there, uh, Rapaho County, Colorado, New York City. Um, good Lord. Um, Monoma County, I have these, I haven't even heard about it. It's amazing. Worcester, Mass, tax collector's deed sale, um, just a ton of sales coming up having because of Washington State, all this stuff, guys. A ton of sales coming up simply because the counties are going broke. They're going broke. And you can find the same information, all this stuff in here. everything I'm talking about. Okay. So the counties are going broke. We've got a budget deficit for the counties. The opportunity is skyrocketing there. I mean, skyrocketing. Uh, again, counties that would have waited only counties that would have waited five, even 10 years are now going to be jacking that back down to about two years before they foreclose. They just can't afford not to foreclose anymore. Um, second reason is it's easy to find people. Okay. Extremely easy. If it's their residence, they're still living in it. It's pre foreclosure. They haven't been kicked out. They haven't had the anything locked up. They're still there. Okay. If they're not there and they're renting it, it's extremely easy to find the renter in there. Most of the time with free systems online. Okay. You can find that renter. And believe me, since we're going to let the renter stay there a little longer than they would have in a tax sale, 
they're going to give us the owner's number to contact and put a deal together. Um, third, it's our money, guys. This is not an assignment deal or a subject to, and you're going to find an investor down the road and flip the deed or the or rather the contract. We're buying these people out with our money. They're going to get a check in their hand, usually in under a week after they sign our deed. That's kind of powerful. Those of you guys out there that are wholesaling, using assignments, using subject twos, you're realizing I'm making more money with, you can make more money with me than you can on your own doing your existing wholesaling operation. Okay. Again, it's our money, no baloney, straight up sale. We're launching this January 1st, 2021. We're going to include membership at that point for this sale on January 1st to the Rightful Owner Project. RightfulOwnerProject.org. It's a credibility site, uh, asset recovery, and also it's a credibility site for folks that are flipping property. So that's a big deal. That is usually $200 on its own. We're going to, with January 1st only, we're going to have Rightful Owner Project in with um, the Deed Flip 30, the 30% 30 of that program, just for that one day free. Okay. So you're literally, if you haven't already gotten ROP, it's like getting the new program the deed flip 30 for uh, good Lord, $197. Cause the first day we'll have it for 397. That'll drop up to 497. The next thing I want to talk about is another reason why these guys, these other guys online that have programs for overages have been kind of taking a shot across our bow about how deed flips aren't, aren't working. They're starting to realize the truth. And the truth is in a deed flip, you're researching the debt and the ownership of the property as it stands right now. It hasn't gone to foreclosure yet. So there's no overage. We're upstream. In other words, we're going to put a deal together on that, buy the owner out, get some money in the pocket now before they get foreclosed on. And now is when they need it more than ever. We're going to let them stay in the property a month, sometimes a little bit longer, okay, uh, before we sell it. So we're going to give them the opportunity to stay and we're giving, giving the money in their pocket now before it even forecloses. Then we're paying off the taxes that are foreclosing on the property. And this works in 47 states. It won't, we won't take deals from North Carolina, Colorado, or Florida. But Guys, 47 states, and I'll, again, if you, have, if you haven't already done it, you'll see a video here of the opportunity I'm talking about. But the synergy here is simple. Not only are we upstream, so we're getting the deal before it even becomes an overage, okay? That's why these guys are worried, and that's why they're launching videos out there saying you don't want to flip property. The second reason is you've already done the research. So let's say we don't get in touch with the owner. Okay. We can't or rather put a deal together in time because you're going to be getting in touch with them for us. I'll get into that in a minute. It's easy as heck to do. They're, they're always home and you can use even free uh, systems for finding them. Okay. Either their home or their renters in there 90% of the time. Okay. Having said all that, the synergy is if we go after it, okay, if we go after it as a flip and we don't put the deal together prior to the sale, you know what the debt is. So when it hits sale, what's going to happen? You'll be able to see what the sales price was and you'll know, okay, there's 30,000 in debt. It sold for 60. There's $30,000 in overage. So what I'm saying is, first of all, you got a crazy shot to make on average nine grand per deal in the deed flip. If that doesn't pay out for some reason, the guy didn't get up with us. A lot of people think they're going to hit the scratch off up to three days before the the sale, right? They think they're going to, a miracle is going to hit them. And I believe in miracles, but they think a miracle is going to hit them. They're going to go to 7-Eleven and get hit the scratch off and they're going to be fine. For those guys, we can now, you can now turn it in if you have our surplus funds program, either one, right? Because you've been trying to get in touch with them on deed flip 30. You can turn it into us as a surplus funds fund. So you've got two shots at the same deal. And this is why these guys are worried about us. The guys out there doing overages, and by the way, they're doing overages on their own too. We don't compete against you. We don't, we don't work files on our own. We only work files that are turned in by our researchers, both the deed flip and the overage programs. Um, but the synergy there is now you've got a second shot. You can now turn it in. If you have our surplus funds program, you can now turn it in as that. Okay. Um, we're very upstream. Uh, the bundles are there. We're bundling in the ROP with you. Okay. Um, and it's cash deal. Those of you guys that have helped wholesale property before, you understand I'm paying them money within a week. There's no delayed closing. Maybe you'll find an investor, assignment, a contract, subject to bull crap. Okay. This is the real deal. We have the money for it. 
We're ready to take on whatever you throw in at us. We've hired another case manager. We have all of our systems completely ready to go. So January 1st, we're going to do that. Now, here's the last kicker. Through COVID, we started paying our researchers $500 whenever we got an overage deal under contract and the contract back, or we got a deed on a deed flip and recorded the deed. January 1st, with the deed flip 30, anybody that buys January 1st, okay, anybody that buys January 1st, will get $1,000 whenever we put a deal together, and then the rest of that 30% when we successfully close the property. 1000 bucks. That's a big deal. It's even a bigger deal because, first of all, we're shutting down all of our sales on all of our programs starting December 1st to December 31st. We're still going to work all the files turned in by people that bought the programs. But at the end of November, guys, you're going to have to wait till January. And guys, we're looking at upping the price on all of our programs in January. So I'm recording this November the 20th. I would highly recommend that if you're on the fence, you jump on it. I will also honor that $500 upfront payment to you whenever we get a deal under contract or a deed recorded. Uh, so overages and deed flips, $500 to you when that happens. And then the rest of your commission when we successfully uh, you know, get the money out of the court or clo close on the property, resell it. Now, here's the here's one more thing I want to bring up. Well, and by the way, that's going away. So if you don't buy by the end of November, we're not going to be offering that to people that buy after that. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, the last thing is the average time for the deed flip. So you're going to be, what we're going to do, this is where I told you I was going to get in nuts and bolts. You research the ownership of the property uh, and uh, the debt against the property you turn it into, and you call them. We're going to have you call them really easy. Watch the video outtake with this. Really easy to find them and call them. And all you're doing is saying, are you the owner? Great. Would you consider selling? Great. Here you go. And you're going to pass it on to us. We're going to do the rest. We're going to put it under contract, hire the mobile notary, record the deed, um, record that deed, let the people stay in there. That's a big deal. Anybody that's wholesale knows. We're going to let them stay a little while. Uh, we're going to give them, if they're in the house, a little bit of money up front, more money when they get out. It's all cash. If they're not in the house, we'll just pay them out. Then we're going to flip the property. So the time period involved here, since you've contacted them, gotten them ready, and we're going to contact them within 48 hours max, um, is about six to seven weeks to get paid. On average, nine grand. We'll be doing more videos about this. Regardless of what you decide to do, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and a wonderful Christmas.